Hello, YouTubers. Um, I thought I'd make this uh, video for my subjects. Uh, yes, I've become so important now that I'm probably at this point going to begin to start to forget the little people that made this possible. So I thought maybe I'd take a moment now because I know it won't be long before I will be such a superstar that um, you won't matter to me anymore. And the people, the little people that I'm talking about are my subscribers. Uh, at this point, I have 103. I think that puts me into the superstar of YouTube category, personally. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but that's the way I look at it. Uh, actually, I have, but once I hit about 89 or 90, I started to get nervous, and I thought, am I really actually going to get 100 subscribers? And then as it started to inch up, I started to pay attention more, and I would, like, check it at work during the day to see if I got any more. It was like an obsession with me. So to be honest, the most wonderful part of having one, well, not the most wonderful, the second most wonderful part of having 103 subscribers is that now I can relax. It made me very nervous and anxious and uh, The lucky subscriber is Naltz, N-A-L-T-S. And he did it um, and realized that he was the 100th. I don't know if he did it to be the 100th or if he did it and then he said, oh, neat, I'm the 100th. I don't know which one, but he did uh, comment, leave me a comment on my, pa on my profile page and say, yippee, I'm the 100th. And I was, I yippied him right back because that is a cool thing. Um, I cannot believe, people, I'm not worthy. You know I'm not. Um, I'm just Isaac and Hannah's Giggy out here just talking about stuff. But, you know, I have to admit, that's what I like to see other people do. So, maybe that's why I have 103 subscribers. Um, people just like to listen to people talk. Anyway. It is, uh, it is, fly, I'm flabbergasted. Um, I'm, I'm freaked out. But, uh, now I can relax and get back to making videos and not watching that number tick by. That just makes me so nervous. Let's talk about traffic just for a minute. There's something about December the 1st that makes people freaking forget how to drive. Have you noticed that? Everybody and his brother is out because God knows you have to be out Christmas shopping every day, all day. And on Saturday, oh my God, there's no way you can stay at the house. You must go out and buy. traffic, I'm kind of out of town now, but town traffic was horrendous. Um, and where I'm going is, you might say, Lynette, if you complain about so many people being out, why aren't you at home? Well, I'll tell you. My husband, his name is Gary. I don't know if I've said that part before about his name being Gary, but it is. And um, he is a tour guide at a state historical site called New Echota. It's um, near Calhoun, Georgia, between Calhoun and Rosaka, Georgia. And um, Rosaka was the site of a Civil War battle, you know, if you care. Um, but anyway, New Echota is the site where the last, it was the last capital of the Cherokee Nation before the Trail of Tears. And my husband's always been a supporter of Native Americans. And um, he's always suspected that he has 
um, Cherokee blood, and I know I do. I mean, I say I know I do. That's what I've always been told. I don't have any documentation of that or anything. It's just what I've been told. And my daddy really looked a lot like, you know, had high cheekbones and stuff. So I feel like it's, you know, probably all true. Uh, although we don't have any proof of it. Um, but my husband loves the Cherokee culture. And uh, he has, because he has this job as a tour guide there, he has learned uh, so much. He's taken a lot of classes in um, uh, Cherokee history. And he's, um, he's knowledgeable about the tribes and their current status. And who's in charge and you know he just he just makes it his um, um he, well his goal is to know as much as he can because he he um gives information to a lot of people and he wants to make sure he's right he doesn't want to be a liar uh, there's a lot of misinformation about the um, trail of tears and um he likes he's quick to clear, to clear that up with people too um, and also one of his pet peeves is anybody that says their grandmother was a Cherokee princess or their great-grandmother. Uh, there was no such thing as a Cherokee princess. Uh, people just say that. Uh, she might have been a Cherokee, but she wasn't a Cherokee princess. But the Cherokees were... Um, I'm not even going to talk about them because I know if my husband watches this video, he'll find something wrong with what I say. So I'm not going to venture forth and tell you a lot about it. You can um, you can research it for yourself. And I urge you, if you're in the area of North Georgia, to go and visit this site if you haven't already. Uh, and today they're having uh, the Christmas candlelight tour. And that means they're open from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And they have people stationed at all 12 of the buildings. And they have luminaries. The path is lit by with luminaries. And it's all decorated for Christmas. It's really beautiful. So he, he is a storyteller and a musician. And he has a, some type of flute. I don't know if it's like a Cherokee flute or what. But it's a flute. And um, he plays that. And... Um, he forgot his flute today, and he was really upset, and so he called me and asked me was I going to get out of the house, and I was like, it's December, and he said, I know it's December, but I forgot my flute, so I love him, so I'm taking him his flute, and I picked us up some lunch, and I'm going to have lunch with him, so that is a bonus. I might get my video camera out while I'm there and um, and like maybe take some stills of the buildings and them decorated for Christmas. He's going to ride me around on a little golf cart uh, right quick and let me look at all the buildings. So that'll be fun. Uh, let's see what else I wanted to talk about today. This video is probably already too long. But I guess that's it for today. I'm going to turn this camera off and I'm going to turn my XM radio on and I'm going to enjoy the rest of the ride because it's 32 miles to my husband's job just like it is mine. So I've got a little ride ahead of me. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And um, anybody that lives in the North Georgia area, or if you're close enough or if you want to come over here and investigate some of our historical places, I recommend you a Choda for the Georgia State Historical Site. And no, I have not been, re been reimbursed for this endorsement. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.